This is a PEGI 2 LED matrix display, which is just a, a big circuit board that holds an array of 625 LEDs. And in this one, we've installed red, green, blue, and white LEDs, making some giant pixels. So right now you can see just the red ones. Now here's just the green ones. Here's just the blue ones, and here's just the white ones. So if we look just, say, in this upper left-hand corner, we can make essentially a little pixel out of this. We put the red, green, blue, and white. If we turn them all on at once, you can start to see um, uh, a little, you know, RGBW pixel here. Um, looking at the whole display, you might notice that uh, the camera has some blinky issues because it's got a scan rate that doesn't agree with the scan rate of the uh, LED matrix display, but it really does not look like this to eye. It's kind of a funny effect. But that's not what we're going to talk about. What we want to talk about is making these interesting giant pixels into something that's something approximating video. So here's a animated display where we're just using the RGB actually. We're leaving the uh, white pixels dark for this. And we've got these intense rainbow colors and they're all emerging from a point that's slowly wandering around the screen here. The pixels are chunky and huge, but there's an interesting trick, which is that if you take a piece of diffusing plastic and you set it down on here, well, first of all, if you set it right down on the, on the giant LEDs, you can see these uh, LEDs shining right on the plastic, but if you lift it up just a little bit, just above the surface, so it's not touching, now suddenly we have uh, a smooth, continuous image. Our pixels have completely gone away and left us with a continuous tone. So this is a, a neat way to make a large area colorful LED scanning display, if that's something you want to do. Anyway, that's uh, Peggy 2.